Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have the same Bentley lighter that we had yesterday, except for the fact that we have switched out the insert. Here's the butane insert that you saw yesterday was still working and did not work for much longer after that video ended and it has been replaced by a petrol insert that has been converted from the same butane disposable trash Only this one, I also put a fuel port in on that back hump. I'm going to make these Bentley or Schick, whatever the brand on them is. I believe they were made by Bentley of Austria. These are going to be my little project here for a little bit. Got to thinking about our friend Rook Knight. That he had put a fill port on the back. I'm not sure if he ever sent me pictures or not. But I put mine right there on the top of that hump. Just ran the drill across there to break down that burr. So this would be a very early prototype. Certainly not what I would envision as being the finished product here. And I'm also trying to figure out something that I could use to plug this hole with. Either that or come up with a tap and a supply of screws that would fit flush or close to it so that we don't have fuel evaporating out and also so that you don't have the flame reaching back there. Petrol lighters are a pretty simple thing. I think that's probably far enough away that you're okay. But who knows? You don't want that heating up in your hand. So I figure it's best to cover it. And for now we're just using a piece of foam. I don't believe that that foam will absorb the fluid. It's a pretty high density kind of stuff that you get in packaging at a lot of the dispensaries around Oklahoma and I'm sure the dispensaries in other states as well. I was trying to maybe use something like these cartridge, vape cartridge caps or not really a cap, it's a cap for the bottom of it where it connects to a vape pen. But that was too big. So if you got an idea of something that I could repurpose to use to seal off the fuel port on this Bentley butane cartridge that has been converted to a refillable petrol insert packed pretty densely in there I fed cotton down the chimney as well as filling in the back side here got it pretty tight filled and then as I mentioned plugging it here with this small piece of foam and open to suggestions of other things it doesn't have to be perfectly 
flush as there is some room some margin here for how this all seats down in here So the same exact Schick mechanism, Bentley USA, my eyes are so bad, I think that says made in Austria. But I'm not sure that the mechanism was the original, as I said, I've got a few of these floating around the house here. And now I am curious just how long I can use this insert before it needs to be refueled. So this is going to become my everyday carry, although I'll go ahead for the sake of this video, we're going to remove this mechanism and we're going to use the mechanism that was on the golf motif lighter. This is a very good sparking mechanism so I know I won't have to worry about that. And a very nice case this Bentley USA made in Austria. engine turn design high polish chrome plated and an insert that can be refilled and a lot easier than my first version of this which had to be refilled through the chimney down the neck of the lighter where the wick goes by unscrewing that chimney you can go back and look at those old videos to see that so you're seeing an evolution in process here and a project that we are going to focus on for a bit and I get more questions about this particular lighter than maybe just about any other feel like I say this all the time now but say hello to my new everyday carry lighter today is uh, Monday as I'm recording this I don't remember last Monday in August we'll just see exactly how long this stays fueled up as I'm using it to light something up at least 10 to 12 times a day Until next time.